All right, so something a little different today. We have my good helper here, Sebastian. He is helping. We are gonna take this piece of wood and make a little table. We're gonna do a little bit of work in here and put new tiles down. And somebody had suggested that we put a little table here. So if you're sitting here, you can put a drink on here. Also the magazines, we're gonna put them on here. So if you're hanging out, you look through the magazines. So we are gonna get this. I cut it a little bit smaller, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how big do you think it should be? Because if it's here, it sticks out too much, right? Yeah, it should probably be like this big. Right here? Yeah. So let's go get a pen and let's mark this. We'll go cut it down on the big saw. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so how far down here do you think we should do it? 16. 16. So we'll do a line there. So okay. I'll hold it on the lines. Hold on, let me get both lines up. Alright, now draw that all the way down there. Keep it okay. keep it pushed against a ruler. Keep it up against the ruler. There you go. All the way down. All right, so we have our saw, we have our line, wherever the line is, there it is. All right, do you want to switch the saw on? Hit the green button, push it real hard. There we go. And we're going to cut this all the way down here. All right, I'm going to switch it up. All right, I'm going to take that piece and set it down. So now we have a little smaller piece, so it's a little bit easier to use. As you see, we use now a metal saw. We don't have any woodworking tools in the shop. You know what, if it'll cut metal, it'll cut wood, right? You wanna take the sandpaper, just go all the way around the edge like this. Just take off that rough edge. Uh -huh. That way when we're done, there's no sharp edges on it. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna hold the wood, so if you wanna sit it there, just use that, all those corners. Just take off all the sharp edges. You got it? All right, let me go get the rest of the pieces together. All right, so we're trying to use basic scrap out of the shop. These are some exhaust tips that we don't use. It is a random spring, some stainless, a flange. We've got our two and a half inch stainless that we use. And we found some angle iron and that flange that Sebastian is holding. So this is the piece of wood that we're using for the tabletop. You wanna hold that, buddy? Now that is all nice and smooth now, isn't it? You got all the sanding off it. Yeah. And it's all nice and clean. All right, so let's build a little frame around these exhaust tips. That's going to be the feet. We decided that's the legs to the table. Mm -hmm. We'll build a frame around it using this two inch angle iron. We need one here, one here, and one here. So how many sides does a square have? We need three more. Perfect. Let's go cut three more of these. That. Tighten it. There. Either way. Good job. Good job. Nice and tight. All right. Good job. All right. Good job. Oops. All right. Ready? All right. So you want to set them up in a box? So if our calculations are correct, this should be a nice square. Good. How's that look? Nice. Does it look pretty square? Yeah. So what we're going to do... All we need is just weld those legs together. Yeah. Well, we're going to weld this together and those legs are going to go like this. It's a welder. And we'll weld. weld this. Do you want to have a got welding? What do you think? Yeah. Looks easy enough, doesn't it? So you're going to be Captain Welder. Okay. All right, so tell me this is just tight enough. Tight enough. Is that good? Is it going to stay out of your head? Mm, it's out of my eyes. <laughs> mm. How about that? Ah, I feel weird. Well, it does feel weird. Uh, what about that? There you go. Can you see through it? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll put it up. Let's get the welder ready. Keep right, it on your so head. What we're going to do. Let's get it so it's all separate. See it's all off right now? Yeah. See this here? Mm -hmm. This is square. 
but we're going to make sure those sides line up with this. Make sure they're all nice. Exactly. Nice. Make sure all those. See, they're all in the middle. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Show you what we're going to do. See this right here? Yeah. It's so pretty easy. What are you going to do? You see that wire? That wire is going to come back well these together. So what we're going to do is, I'll put this up here, right there. You want to do it? So I'll put your screen down. Yep. Yep. I'm going to help you. Hold up this. Hold up this. So what we're going to do is, can you see it? And then give the trigger just a quick pull. Do it again. And a little bit longer. Squeeze it for longer. Squeeze it for a little bit longer. That's good. Let's do one over here. Stop. All right, and again. And do it a little bit longer. That's good. And then one over here. A little bit longer. And do it again. Squeeze it for a little bit longer. Good. All right, that's good. I can't see what I'm doing now. See, you see what you did? Don't touch those because those are hot. But you can see them. They're awesome! I did it! It did. Now you see, that will hold. So what I'm going to do is put this this way. And we'll put this on it and check it. And then we'll do it on that. Yeah. Well, we're going to finish it off with the, the TIG. This here is a MIG welder. Yeah. We'll finish the welding off with that machine over there. That's a, a TIG welder. Yeah. Don't need a, a great deal of strength here. Just want it to be welded and we're going to send that and paint it. So the tabletop we're going to paint blue, right? Yeah. What color should we paint this frame? The frame? Yeah. This is going to go around those exhaust tips. What color should we do that? Blue. Do that blue? What kind of blue? Oh, it's tea blue. Nice. So tell me what you got for Christmas. Um, I got a nerf gun. Nerf gun, how many guns did you get? Three. Three. Are they good? Yes. Is that it? Just three Nerf guns? Yeah. What else do you two get? Two more. I got two more that are done. They're done. You're going to change those. What about the bullets? You get plenty of bullets? Mega. Go about this big. How many did you get? A thousand billion. <laughs> That's a lot of bullets. So yeah, we've got plenty of bullets, so we're having Nerf Wars at the house. Hey, have I been shot yet? Yeah, I've been shot a couple of times, haven't I? I shot you in the leg. Yeah, <laughs> and I got one in the neck too. So, yeah, they're fun. Yeah, I've got the bruise to bruise. So we're taking a little break from the table to build something. What is it we're building? Legos. Yeah, but what is it? Lego what? Lego X-Wing. X-Wing? And it's, let's have a look at it. Star Wars, 64 pieces, 6 to 12, that's perfect for you. Wow, look at that, it's coming together good. That is nice. So. That's the steps. What step are you on right now? Uh, this one. This one? So now you're going to put those pieces on there all right so we have the base we have the exhaust tips welded on and we've painted the frame black so what do you think how's it looking nice think it's gonna be good yeah so we're doing the wood right now it's drying we cut two pieces of wood there is a wood that goes on here and then there's an, a, a flange we're kind of making this like a shop theme you know we're not looking at you know modern architecture here kind of whatever we have in the shop is what we're using to build this table. All right, so these parts are painted. That part is painted. We're gonna take a break and we are going where? McDonald's. McDonald's. Yay. Every kid's favorite place. Grab two of those. Mm -hmm. Grab two of those skinny ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. Put them through here. Let's make sure they all line up. Those in the bottom. Yeah. 
be off on the bottom of it. See if you can screw it on. It's kind of tricky upside down. It's good practice. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Yeah. You do? Remember when you go upside down? The nut goes that way. So it looks like it's opposite when it's upside down. Do you get it? You get it? Yes. All right. So, so hold it with one hand. Hold one hand like that, and hold your other hand on there. There you go. Use that one to steady it. Put that one further down. Okay. And then just go this one back and forth like that. There you go. Use that hand to steady it, and that one to turn. A little more. All right. Good. All right. Good. Let's do that one. Rocket. And let's do this one next. Same way. You can use that to steady it and want to turn. All right, so it's actually kind of interesting. I just got off the phone with someone that claims they're with YouTube, and I guess it's an outside source, but they kind of reeled me in because they said, hey, we're on your YouTube channel, and we want to help you get more views and more subscribers. We want to give you some free uh, information how to do it. I don't know, I'm still kind of new to this, so I sat and listened to their, uh, their spiel, and it was kind of interesting because he said, where do you categorize your audience? What are you looking for? Do you categorize this or that, what's your target demographic, age group, your race, your ethnicity, blah, blah, blah. I go, it really doesn't matter to me if you're six or 86, it doesn't matter your race, car people are car people. That's who I'm looking for, that's the type of customer I want. If you love your car as much as we do, you're our customer. This is our future LHT guy over here. This is my little buddy Sebastian, you probably saw us do that video. So it's actually kind of interesting that I don't have a target demographic. I don't care how old you are. If you enjoy our stuff, if you enjoy our builds, you want to bring your car to us up at word on, you're my target demographic. So the guy on YouTube or whatever company, you're going to be a car guy. What's your favorite car? Corvette. What's your next favorite car? S2000. S2000? You like those, huh? He's been in an S2000, my silver one I had, the supercharged one. He went for a ride and he loved it. Problem is with an S2000 with me, I'm six foot three. I feel like I'm folded up in there. I drive it like this. The windshield's like this big. <laughs> he fits in there perfect. That's why I don't own an S2000. People ask me all the time. I own a Corvette because believe it or not, the new Corvette, the C6 and the C7, feels like an S2000, 10% bigger cost more power, more brakes, but it's the very feel of an S2000, bigger. So if you ever get a chance to drive one before you say, ah, oh, they suck, oh, a friend of mine had one, it's no good. Are you helping me drive back there? Go drive one. Never judge a car until you drive it. Cars always suck when you don't own it, you don't drive it, just remember that. Always give it a chance, right? Mm -hmm. So from me and my buddy Sebastian here, hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I didn't ramble on too much. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>